G'day mates, I'm here with today's victim client. Client, I shouldn't say victim. Uh, we've got some hip bursitis. We want to basically go through some different movements, some different exercises to try and help alleviate that pain and stop it from coming back again. Straight leg raises, getting into our quadriceps and our hip flexors. From here, we're gonna push our left foot into the mat. We're gonna try and flex our right thigh as hard as we can and then draw that foot up towards the sky, just like that, perfect and then slowly lower it back down towards the ground until that heel touches. Great form. And again, we want 15 reps here. We're just gonna do about two sets of these. And we always wanna stop if we're feeling any discomfort or pain. Remember, we don't wanna push through pain. We wanna just get rid of that pain. Prone hip extensions to help focus on our hamstrings and glutes. So for this next one here, we're gonna be lying on our front in our prone position. We're gonna try to get into our glutes so what I want to start by trying to do is take our hips into an angry cat position. So we're gonna get that posterior pelvic tilt, try and tilt our hips down, keep our abs engaged. While in this position here, one leg at a time, we're gonna try and keep those legs nice and long. We're just gonna try and bring our right foot towards the sky for a hold. Keep that leg nice and straight. That's it. Nice, comfortable position, this one. And slowly down to the ground and back up. We want this to be pain-free in the hip. We should feel this in the muscles working. We shouldn't feel any pain through the hips while doing this exercise. Excellent. While we're doing this, we're gonna keep focusing on trying to tuck our hips underneath into that angry cat position. We don't want the pelvis to follow the leg. We want the leg to fight against the pelvis here. Clam shells or clam exercises. These work the anterior hip flexors and engages both the gluteus medius and gluteus maximus. So what we're doing here is just our clam shells. So we're gonna have our heels touching. We wanna to draw our knee up towards the sky and bring our knee back down. A mistake people will make is that their hips will travel back as they raise their knee. We're gonna try and make sure we keep our hips in position, stacked one right on top of the other while we're doing this one. We don't wanna be feeling any pain in the hip while we're doing this. We're gonna just want make that, we want to just make that glute go to work. And again, we wanna try and do 15 reps here, as long as it's pain-free, and we'll try and do two sets of these on both legs. There is an advanced version of this one, but we're not gonna be doing that until we've recovered. Lateral leg raise. These load the gluteus maximus, gluteus minimus, the tensor fascia lata, and the iliotibial band. All right, so setting up here, what we wanna do is we want our leg at the bottom, bent, give us a nice secure base. We wanna be nice and relaxed up in the upper body. We can be up on our elbow if we'd like to. Then all we're trying to do is get a nice lateral movement through our top leg, really get this glute to go to work here. Fantastic. We're gonna try and come each time up as high as we can, and then really control it back down to the ground. That's it, really focusing on just how much height we can get, and then controlling it straight back down. Excellent there, really, really good. You'll notice that our hips will wanna move with the movement. Only go as high as you can before you feel your hips trying to move. Great work. So by going into this flat position, we'll definitely notice all of a sudden, we're getting a much bigger stretch at the bottom, which means that we've got more distance to have to try and cover as we get to the top. So when our body was more elevated, it's less of a stretch here in this bottom position which is less work for that glute to have to do. Thanks very much, Bernie, for demonstrating the more difficult version. <laughs> hip bridge or glute bridge to help target our hip flexors and glutes. So we're gonna keep our feet in close to our bum and we're just gonna try and squeeze our bum until our hips raise off the ground. And then we're gonna add that dynamic movement by lowering our hips all the way down as low as we can while still keeping our glutes active and if we can touch the mat, that's fine. And then squeezing the bum to get the hips elevated again. Great range of motion there. Really, really good. And again, slowly we go down, full range of motion. Squeezing the glutes to drive our hips back up. That's it, that's it. And we only wanna go as far as we can by squeezing our glutes. I don't want us to imagine that we're trying to pull our hips up. I want us to imagine that we're trying to push our hips forward by squeezing our bum as hard as we can. 
Really important when you're doing this exercise that it's only your bum you're squeezing. The brace is a great exercise to help strengthen our stabilizing muscles around our core. So setting up for our brace or our plank, we're going to get into a posterior pelvic tilt. We're gonna get into an angry cat position. Really trying to get that bum tucked under as much as we can. Excellent. Now from here, if we're feeling comfortable, we're going to come down onto our elbows and try and really keep tucking under as much as we can. If we're feeling okay here, we're going to come up onto our toes. So bring our feet slightly back and keep focusing on tucking under those hips under as much as we can for five, four, three, two, and rest. Now, if you tend to feel your brace gets up into your traps or you get a sore neck, what I'll get you to do instead is come up onto your hands instead of your elbows. That's it. And then again, tuck those hips under as much as we can, straighten your legs, and try to lift your bum a little bit higher and backwards into the air while keeping that angry cat position and tucking. Really good. Now, we don't wanna overdo this one here. We can start with a five second hold, build up to 10, 15, 30, up to a minute, and rest. Side brace or side plank. It's like bracing, but on your side. We're gonna go into full side brace to start with, which is gonna be up on our toes. And we're gonna really focus on trying to keep our hips tucked underneath. Now, what I want you to do if this feels too difficult is bring your knees to the ground and just have a bend in your knees there, bring your feet back slightly. So we're still making all the right muscles work. We don't want them to overwork. So start building up from here, but listen to your body. If you start to feel overworked, cut back. Hey, thanks very much for doing that today. I hope that helps. Now it's really important when you're doing these ones, if you are feeling any discomfort or pain, ease back off these, give yourself plenty of time to build up. Remember, no one should have to live with pain. Thanks again for joining. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>